so uh, good morning everyone and today we are going to discuss another subtopic the last subtopic in the unit that is managing social media platforms for business we all know that social media has become a tool a very productive tool a very useful tool in today's world and uh, it has multiple usages as we all know that social media is not restricted to only one usage of socializing anymore right we find businesses we find people interacting we find uh, products getting sold and over the time because of the recent pandemic also we have seen that there has been an increase in the businesses which have uh, started because of social media and on social media so we are going to discuss this very important topic uh, from the exam perspective this can be a 12 mark question it's a bigger question it's a topic which is everyone is aware of but no one uh, discusses or talks about it and it is again one great business opportunity or rather uh, an employment opportunity which many people are you know overlooking okay we use social media like uh, how we breathe right uh, there are people who if they open their settings uh, in their phones and check their screen times their screen times will be around 12 hours out of their 16 to 18 uh, you know waking hours you should do this exercise wherein you should go to the settings and just type screen time and check on how many uh, apps you waste how much of time right so in this particular unit we are going to discuss how we can manage and what are the factors when it comes to managing social media platforms for businesses right so here we start why do we use social media we all know social what is social media social media is a tool uh, due, to, due to the blessing of internet that we are using you know, which uh, enables us to spread a word regarding our product or a service or anything else okay so there are various social media platforms which we use okay to name some definitely there is facebook there is instagram there is twitter there is pinterest okay and lots more okay there is snapchat right so why do we use social media especially when it comes to businesses okay utilizing social media in your business strategy is one of the best ways it is one of the best ways to increase your brand awareness if your brand is situated in goa but you want to go national or you want to go global how can you do it social media connect with customers if there were to be no social media these small brands wouldn't have become you know uh, huge for example if you open up social media and just type a product name let's say you see you type the word engine oil or you, you type the word dream catchers or you type type the word uh, t-shirts customized t-shirts and you will go to so many uh, social media pages which sell these products right so why we should use social media in uh, businesses to increase the awareness regarding the brand to connect with the customers and to promote product and services at the end of the day that's the motive of a of any business right to promote its products and services so three major factors why a business should use social media now you all also will know if you have a business uh, which uh, you want to take on the social media you need to be aware of why you're going to do it now definitely it's a commonsensical answer to increase your business awareness about your business to connect with more customers and to promote your products and services what does social media mean it's an online place that encourages people to interact in simple term on social media you interact with people okay as marketeers it is important to remember as business uh, people or, or people who would like to take their business on social media it is important to remember that we should not fix it on specific terms and tools means we should not be focused only on one tools okay one sorry one tool that is today if you say no i will run my business only on instagram then your business will not grow your business will not grow because you are focusing only on 
Instagram, right? Focus your attention where your best customer spends their time. Okay. So after a while, after after let's say two months of your social media presence, and after checking how much, how many customers have come from which particular social media tool, maybe Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Okay. Then you should focus your uh, attention on that particular tool. Okay. So focus your attention where your best customers spend their time. Okay. Where your customers, best of your customers spend their time. These are the five must do's for any small business or any business for that matter in order to give your small business a fighting chance within social media if you want to make your business great if you want to make your business work on social media you know, we are in the right time to talk about this topic no because we are in the exactly in the same phase wherein social media is playing a huge role in terms of growing businesses so there are the five things you need to do in order to grow your business on social media or rather even start a business on social media number one identify your audience you should know who your customer is if you are selling coconut oil then you need to know who is your customer okay who whom you are going to sell that particular brand to yeah understand which channels to use now if your audience is in a particular age band then you will understand which particular platform you will use in order to grow your audience for example instagram will not have a particular population of a particular particular age group right whereas facebook will have a population belonging to that particular age group instagram will have more younger population facebook you may have a mixed population with regards to you know uh, age differences okay. number 3 and very important develop plan and share content so what kind of content you make what kind of uh, photographs you click what kind of uh, write ups you write you need to be sure about it utilize paid advertising now at the begin beginning stage many businesses don't have the money to you know pay and advertise but that channel is always open when once your business start growing you can pay a certain amount and then that particular tool it may be instagram facebook or twitter they will take you to new audiences and new audiences will follow you okay? know what is working and what is not working so you need to be aware of what's working for you maybe a particular product uh, is popular maybe a particular brand brand or other particular person selling that brand is popular so you need to know what is which platform is working for you okay <clears throat> you may hire services of some instagram influencers okay that's an, again a word which is uh, you know in vogue and try to sell a particular product which belongs to your city so know your things which are working know the things which are not working so the first factor coming to first factor we need to understand our best audience for that we need to search for our best audience identify or define who they are we need to know who our audience is okay. who's that audience who is going to give us that much of attention and who from whom we are going to get that income so define who they are so if you are selling a cell phone or if you are selling a cell phone cover you know your audience if you are selling coconut oil you know your audience if you are selling let's say uh, a dream catcher you know your audience okay define what they want and what is important to them we need to be sure about what my audience wants and what is important to that particular individual okay so you are selling shirts okay and all your shades are in black so you, you may have an uh, audience you may have a customer who doesn't like black at all then you need to be sure about what your customers want define any challenges or obstacles you may face when marketing and you need to be sure about what obstacles you may face when you are marketing what are the challenges now there are uh, everyone is going online right so there will be one of the biggest challenge today will be 
the online competition which is there on social media with regards to their with regards to products and services okay when you define who your audience is there are three areas to consider okay identify which of your product service are most profitable as in who will purchase your products like you have you had some brand starting you know uh, online and then going uh, on the app like you have these skincare products like uh, wow and uh, mama earth so we have these products which started off small on social media and now they have influencers promoting them right so they identified their customers very well who would purchase them and that's why they target they targeted or rather they took help of these youngsters who are so called social media influencers to sell their products or market their products identify the type of customers that is easiest to work with okay as in which products will go fast with which customer you need to identify with them identify what product service you wish to grow and which product you want to grow you need to be sure about that also identify what they want and what is important to them so what is what are these things uh, which are important to them let's say let's take an example of a beauty product let's say uh, let's take the brand mama earth or uh, wow okay customer service what will be the customer service specific price point many customers you know in india particularly are concerned about price okay that's why that maruti suzuki ran an entire campaign on this uh, tagline kitna deti hai because that value and the price was important to them and is important to the customers in india right so customer service this is what uh, customers look for specific price point at what price your uh, product sells quality or value what is the quality of your product convenience of location now with the uh, business is going global you can send anything from anywhere to anywhere right and how is it made how your products are made for example all these beauty products most of them are chemical uh, chemically you know uh, or are the chemical involved so uh, you will see how if you you know justify like mama earth says that uh, it is a product which uh, is free of uh, animal cruelty free of parabens free of any chemicals so how that product is made is very important and that's what you need to inform your audience how that particular product is made okay define any challenges or obstacles you may face when marketing them okay so these are the normal uh, you know uh, challenges or obstacles which anyone can face like fear of change okay like tomorrow if today one product is working tomorrow the audience may like something else that's why you see mountain dew releasing something like uh, something which tastes like limka because you know products are changing high price point then what they are paying now okay so these are again challenges lower longer drive means how will that product product sustain for a long period and evolution of new technology today we have instagram facebook tomorrow something new may come and it may start to, you know overshadowing this particular tools okay so that is about audience so we need to understand our audience very well in order to make profit factor number 2 channels yeah understand which network okay align with your audience and marketing goals this was a survey done Uh, somewhere in 2019 and uh, it was found that uh, 68% of the audience using social media engage with facebook 28% with instagram 26 with pinterest linkedin and twitter so facebook till date also even if you open uh, such surveys in 2021 you will see facebook has that pull okay and now instagram has uh, has become a part of facebook so facebook has that particular uh, audience so you need to understand your channels you need to understand your platforms okay which platform has more audience which platform has more visitors right we need to be aware of the same facebook remains the most popular you know social media platform see the 
percentage of audiences 83 percent of women use facebook it seems okay and then the age group is shown and the income group is also shown there so you can go through this slide and pause the video and go through this slide instagram again it is evolving it has more of uh, see 59 percent of the instagram users are 18 to 29 year olds so that definitely means that there is a pull towards instagram and 38 percent of people who earn less than 30k so basically uh, you know people who are uh, of our generation young age 18 to 29 right so instagram is slowly becoming popular but it is definitely popular among youth twitter yes not very popular in, uh, amongst youngsters today that's what i see okay but again it is a tool which can be used linkedin is a social network for professionals if you want a job you should create a linkedin profile okay and these are the statistics you can go through pinterest if you need ideas if you need images and you know creative ideas you must download this particular app and these are the uh, and you can all also run your business on pinterest right and these are the statistics okay so significant of uh, portion of social media users engage on more than one network definitely right so uh, take your own example i'm sure you must be on at least two social media networks except those who are not on social media net at all okay you must be on at least two social media networks right you must be on facebook and instagram or facebook and snapchat or facebook and linkedin or facebook or whatever okay so basically two social media networks okay so these are the people see if you see the chart there those are the people who use twitter also use instagram also use pinterest also use linkedin also use facebook so see how there are people who use not one network they use multiple networks and that's why those people are your audiences okay if you're starting a business i hope you are following the gist of this particular presentation third and very important factor is what you post on social media especially the social media page of your business so content they always say content is the king that's why you have uh, YouTube uh, channels and YouTube creators sitting there with uh, 5 million and 8 million subscribers, okay, and selling you products and you buy them, buy their products and selling content to you. That is very important. So content is the king, they say. Okay, develop, plan and share content. Okay, social media feeds on content. Great content helps lead, guide and direct potential customers through their buyer's journey so how you put your product up okay beautiful images you know uh, stylish uh, brochures good write up that is what is important there are three things to remember when planning content and very important understand your audience map their buyer's journey okay and create content they want to consume understand your audience if your audience is within the age group of 18 to 29 you know where they are going which channels they are using what kind of uh, food they are eating what kind of lifestyle they are living okay map their journey understand your buyers okay and create content they would like to consume so put maybe an, an instagram influencer whose page they visit daily put maybe a youtube uh, content creator whose whose channel they visit daily okay and pay those creators pay those influencers to promote your brand so that you get more audience to your page and your business in order for your social media management to be effective you must understand your audience and their buying journey you need to understand what how a person buys a product right when take your own example you see so many products online now you you see so many uh, you know products being sold via instagram or facebook how do you decide to buy them okay it goes through four things or three things we become aware of it we see a instagram post let's say selling a dream catcher okay we say wow someone is selling a dream catcher looks beautiful in the picture 
okay and some nice quote is put there and you know you're like wow you check the page and you say nice dream catcher i need one for my house you evaluate you read the reviews written by the people who have bought the dream catcher and say okay good reviews good reviews good reviews okay then you decide to purchase the product right everyone goes through this even see this 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 is to happen in the traditional market wherein we used to go to the market become aware of the product in the sense we used, to, we used to see the product right we used to see the product even fish we used to go and see the fish our, our uh, parents used to go and see the fish evaluate you know how fresh the fish is and then buy the fish right in the similar fashion we have putting the fish on instagram okay and then we read the reviews written by people who have bought them online and say that wow okay this fellow sells fresh fish fresh fish my bad okay and you buy the product as simple as that so this is the buyer's journey in three steps awareness consideration decision okay because the world today is full of products if if i want to buy a 32 inch inch led tv today i have so many options and so much of price range right i have a i have a easier option uh, in uh, you know which is accessible and easy to buy within my price range that is mi or vu or oneplus okay starting from let's say somewhere around 13000 okay to something like a sony or an lg or a samsung or uh, you know any other product which is touching the uh, sky for 32 inch and uh, you know you get it for uh, let's say 30000 so you have a range so once the customer becomes aware of its of his range he will start doing his research okay he will start doing his research and considering each and every product and then a final decision will be made which product to buy so here is a prop see there is an example given what causes white chalky spot on my clean dishes if i get a water softener should i install it myself or hire a professional how do I know which plumber to choose to install the water softener? So, see, these are this is the journey of a buyer, and this we all go through this journey. Even if we have to buy a simple thing online, like a let's say a dress. Even if we are buying a dress online, what is our problem? Do I need a green dress in my wardrobe? Okay, I need a green dress. So I go to Mintra or Mintra, whatever you call it. Okay. And I filter, put the filter for green dress. Then I see different shades of green. I choose one, okay. And you, I, you, I, you, cons you consider to go for a particular brand. And then your decision is made to buy that particular dress. If that dre dress is overfitting you, then you alter it, and there you have it. You have a new dress, okay. So that's how we buy. Okay. We need to know what your audience what our audience wants okay what should i post each brand product and service is unique however we should post what our audience wants it's very clear so we need to understand what our audience wants there are four things to remember while creating content visual works better than text any day okay you will remember this ppt more then if I were to just stand and talk in class, visuals remember are no better than text in terms of retention. Okay. So put beautiful images, put you know, click if you're selling coconut oil, click images, you know, such uh, in such a manner that it looks beautiful. Okay. Video is the key. You can use videos. Culture is personal, okay. It's a brand at the end of the day that you're selling, okay and uh, the audience belongs to a put like in india you have to kind of stick to a particular kind of culture stick to a particular kind of uh, outlook towards your audience and that is very important right great content is timeless certain ads don't go off fashion right like uh, you know washing powder nirma is washing powder nirma when i say washing powder nirma if i write that entire thing you will sing it you will not say it with me or you will not read it right so certain content remains timeless so if you create if you try to create such content your product will 
automatically sell. Okay. Visuals work. Photos on Facebook get 53% more interaction, more likes and shares than text-only posts. Remember this. And they use infographics that are relevant to the brand. Infographics in the sense, graphs and charts which are relevant to your particular brand. Video is also the key. 100 million internet users watch online videos each and every day. 92% of mobile video users share videos to others. See, you are one of them. Okay, so there's an example. Real estate listing on video receive 403% more inquiries. Okay, so real estates, if you show the space and the house, okay, on video, on Facebook, if you are a real estate agent, people will, people tend to call you and inquire about it. 64% of more users are likely to be buying products online after watching a video. Okay. And I'm sure we all also do this after watching a video like I was recently the product which I bought uh, for my bike uh, was a windshield protective, not windshield protective, windshield extender or extension, okay, which I watched on YouTube, okay, I just googled something and it came on YouTube and I, I, I saw and I was convinced after watching two videos of installation of that particular windshield extender, okay, and I bought the product, see, so we are amongst those 64% users who will cross check that product on the video. I do it a lot. I, I don't know about you. Okay. 90% of users state that product videos are helpful in decision making process. Obviously, because someone else is using it. Someone that you are seeing that actual product being used. So it is, you know, always helpful. Culture is personal. It is important to introduce your culture without selling. Talk about the not of profit use you know you support you know you should do business and you should rather focus on profit less and reaching customer more okay? and then you can uh, you know grow if you have an office pet share its adventures see many influencers are doing it they buy they get a cat or they get a dog and they will make posts on those cats and dogs. Tanmay Bhatt is doing it a lot. Uh, now, Gaurav uh, Taneja, uh, the flying beast, is doing it a lot. Right? Share the history of uh, building your own, building your, uh, no, share the history of where you are placed. Showcase a special employee, volunteer, or client. Show people a sneak peek into what you do. Okay? If you are, oh, if you own a business, show, do Instagram reels about that business. Address frequently asked questions. Great content is timeless, as I said, you know, uh, yeah, you can read this. This is an example about, you know, if you own a carpet company, carpet cleaning company, create content that compares professional carpet cleaning as versus your DIY. DIY is do it yourself, carpet cleaners. You can read this and pause and read this. Use the 532 rule. Out of every 10 posts, the rule breaks down like this. If you own a business, 5 posts should be content from industry based sources. Means your product, features, etc. etc. 3 posts should be content and developed by your organization about your company, about your firm, how is the working. And 2 posts should be centered around your business culture. That is, maybe your pet. Maybe your workers, how they are helping people, or how they are, what they are, okay, what kind of people they are. So that is five three two rule. Okay. Who should post? Yeah, anyone. Unless you have a, a social media representative. Okay. Yeah, you can do it on from your phone has to be written clearly, precisely, uh, and language should be correct, okay? Install uh, a tool like Grammarly, which will help, okay? Yeah, this is not very important. Pre-schedule your content. Uh, scheduling content allows your organization to present. Means be ready with your content before the product is out, okay? You shouldn't be writing a Facebook post or an Instagram post when, you know, it is the day when uh, you are going to launch your product. Okay. 
yeah facebook as a scheduler and the fourth and the important thing is promotion okay promotion is very important for any brand promotion is very important for any brand promotion is very important for any brand brand promotion is the key so how to go about it advertisements on facebook advertisements on instagram are pretty expensive right uh, last i checked was uh, you have to pay 64 rupees for your for your page to go uh, you know or are the 640 rupees if not I'll, I'll cross check and I'll tell you again in the class. Okay, uh, a particular amount for your Facebook uh, Facebook page to go viral for a particular time period, right? So, with targeted ads, you can increase your brand awareness, drive more traffic, receive higher conversion rates, and gain better insights. So, if you go for paid ads, definitely you uh, will grow. So Facebook paid ad options are this like ads, click ads and boosted posts. I was talking about the boosted posts. Paid advertising. You come to know, uh, you know, obviously when it is a paid advertising. So click ads. And these are boosted posts. And this is the part which uh, you know you may focus or you may not focus on uh, as a business owner that is analytics like to whom your business is reaching analytics means the uh, chart about whom your business is reaching okay know what works first you must develop the goal for your social media marketing you must you should know what you how much you want to grow how many audiences how many what is what is your number that uh, you're targeting okay pay attention to your social media analytics See how in which country, which state in India, if your if your business is focused in Goa, from which part of Goa people are buying your products, and that is very important. So analytics is very important. Okay. Here are the top analytics you should be paying attention to: like and follower growth. How good is that growth? What is the rate of the growth? Optimal times of engagement when your best client interacts, content likes, reaction and mentions. How many? people share your content and spread it audience demographics from which part of the world the audience comes which part of the world the audience watches your content all these details you get on facebook or any social media network that you are using for business your reach whom you are reaching comments replies and shares you should pay attention to what comments you get very important because negative comments also are important Reference to your website and click through rates means how social media or through social media your website is reached by people okay. And the review is the final thing. Okay, so these are the five must do's for small businesses Social media for business is no longer optional. It is a compulsory thing a business if it is a business has to be on social media Otherwise, it will die by following the five must do's for social media. You will have to you will have a better understanding of who your best customers are, where you can reach them, what type of content to develop, how to promote your content and what is working. Very important five factors. Who your best customer is, where you can reach them, what type of content to develop, how to promote your content, what is working. So I believe if you have any questions, you can always have them in the next class, live class that we are going to have. Thank you so much. This particular topic is for 12 marks. Okay. Thank you. That's the end of the class.